Funeral services today for a man shot and killed by a grapevine police officer. While the family of Ruben Garcia Villapondo attended the services today, Euless police, who are investigating the shooting, talked about the case. They're still interviewing witnesses and waiting on autopsy toxicology results. But they have not interviewed the officer involved in the shooting. The officer's attorney won't let that happen. Here's Fox 4 Sean Rapp. Euless police say right now as they continue investigating this officer-involved shooting, the most important thing for them to do and what they're trying to do, identify and locate all of the possible witnesses to what happened last Friday night. This isn't a matter of who done it. This is a matter of, of collecting all the evidence and bringing it forward to the district attorney's office. And that's why Euless police don't want the dash cam video of Officer Robert Clark shooting Ruben Garcia Villapondo released just yet. They say it would only add to investigative hurdles. First is a problem of people claiming to have seen something that they did not, leaving us to determine whether the information is factual or false. The second problem is contamination of fact witnesses that we still have to take statements from. At least 12 so far, including the driver who gave us this cell phone video. Not the clearest, but it shows Villapondo before the shooting, hands up, at times on his head. And not the only video police are bringing into focus. We are in the process of trying to retrace Mr. Villapondo's steps from that night. Uh, we are collecting video from locations that he had been that day. Officer Robert Clark had been with Grapevine nine months. Prior to that, eight months with DFW Airport Police. He'll provide a sworn statement about the incident, but his attorney won't let police, Euless police, investigating the fatal shooting, interview him. Ask what factors caused Clark to fear for his life and use deadly force? In reviewing the video, uh, a failure to comply with commands is what we can see. Without the officer's statement, I no. But, Starn says, once the investigation's complete, then it will be on Grapevine to make its own decisions about making that video public. We'll make a recommendation to Grapevine, the ball's in your court. And Grapevine will decide if the video will be viewed in the court of public opinion. Sean Rabb, Fox 4 News.